It is February. We're in Montana for a couple weeks and it's so wild. There's hardly any snow and it's actually quite warm out. So that's very weird, but <laughs> we're out just enjoying the mountains for just a little while, just this afternoon. And you know, just to be here, we're not really going anywhere. I just wanted to hear the water, be outside and I don't know, breathe. <laughs> open spaces these big mountains oh my gosh it's so relaxing and I'm so happy to just be up here and out of the city there's not that much snow though <laughs> for February in Montana it's crazy there's not much snow it's not that cold so uh, we were gonna go snowboarding and snowshoeing so I don't know how much of that will actually do but today we're just here. I don't have too long though because I have to get back to town to pick up a package at the post office of yarn. I ordered a ton of yarn, this this yarn actually, the Alifa Sloppy Wool, and the last couple months I've been designing my own sweater and I'm so excited. I have no idea if it's going to work out. <laughs> I've been doing all the math and it's been really fun because I love math and there's just like basic math, geometry, that kind of thing to grade for different sizes so anyway I got to the point where I really wanted to knit myself a sample and see how the collar work and the pattern looks so I'm so excited for that and so I'm gonna go pick up my yarn later today but for now I'm gonna go catch up with Nick we're gonna make some bone broth and just relax in the mountains Delicious mountain stream water. Good. No. <laughs> you wanted fresh river water, didn't you? It's getting windier. I think it's supposed to, was that today where it's supposed to gust to like 40 miles an hour? Yeah. <sighs> On our way to the post office to pick up my yarn. I'm so excited. We get to go open it and see all the colors. This will soon be a sweater. I like this one. Here's all of my new yarn. I am so excited about this. This green one is going to be the base of the sweater. And then the color work is going to be this heather. It's like a warmer gray almost. The purple and then this kind of blackish color. And I think that's gonna look so good together. I'm really happy with the way these colors look. It's sometimes a bit of a guess when you're looking at colors online because sometimes, I mean, I've, I've knit a sweater where I picked out all the colors and I thought it was going to be great. I got the colors and I just, I thought, I don't like these colors. This is not quite what I had thought in my head. And I knit the sweater anyway and I just don't like this sweater. So I'm really happy with these colors. I love this yarn. It's just wool. It's such a rustic, durable wool that's so great for hiking in the outdoors. Like this sweater is super warm. It's actually way too warm for in here, but I just love this thing as an outer layer. And so that's the intention with this sweater too. It will also be an outer layer. And so I love it. And this is going to be my project for the next month. I'll try to keep you updated on this this project. I cast on, I'm doing this as a top down, and then I knit the one by one ribbing and today I knit the short rows just to lift the back of the neck up a little bit and now I'm gonna get started on the color work.
We're walking now through this area that had damage from the flood. You can see just all of this road damage, this whole area. We used to park here. I think it like washed out all the sand. And like all these bumps are big boulders now. But like all the sand like that is gone to support it. And so it all just settled. Weird. Kind of feels apocalyptic. The old trail was completely wiped out from the river. It's just so crazy to see how different it is and think about how much water really had to be flowing to change things the way that has changed. I'm so happy to be out here. It's just exactly what I needed today. Just a little de-stress in nature. Some exercise. Sunshine. It is just so incredible. I love it up here. And the fact that there's just hardly any snow makes this hike very relaxing and quite chill and easy I guess so wow if I said wow enough wow <laughs> <laughs> look at this most Majestic oh, forest. <laughs> it is snowing now. This view behind us is just so epic. I think we're gonna hike a little bit further and then find a place to just hang out and snack and then probably turn around. As I was kind of suspecting, there are two calves with her. So we just want to make sure we're not getting too close. Little bull. That was exciting. It's always so cool to see moose. They're one of my favorite animals. They're just so big. How are you liking the sweater I made you for hiking? It's warm. I like it. <laughs> Finally, taking a little break to have some snacks and to make something nice and hot to drink. So I'll show you what I brought. I have this mini meat stick and the mini Go Macro Bars. I'm really liking the mini things because then you can just have a little bit of each and sometimes I don't want a whole bar. Then I have Lara Bars and for drinks I brought bone broth which I always like to have and then I also have this Element Hot Chocolate, the mint flavor. I've had a lot of the chocolate flavors. Some of them I like better than others but the mint one is I think probably my favorite. So we're gonna have that now. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh, that's hitting the spot. It's just like so warm. It's crazy how cold you can get if, once you stop moving. So, oh gosh, this is amazing right now. <laughs> it's salty. So it's so good. Not sponsored or anything. I just love hot cocoa and mint and salt. <laughs> and I drink the regular ones a lot in the summer hiking, but the hot cocoa ones are just so nice for when it's cold out. All right, what snack do you want? That was such an epic day. We saw sheep, we saw moose, mountain views. The weather was incredible and I just feel so much better because honestly, this morning I was kind of in a, not a bad mood, but just sort of like a down mood, thinking about some things and I just feel, I feel so much better now getting outside and getting fresh air and some exercise. It was just such a good hike. I think we ended up hiking about seven and a half miles now and it was just exactly what I needed so we're gonna head home I will show you an update to my knitting project I made some progress on the sweater but I also made some changes so I'll show you that when we get home We're back home and for dinner tonight I'm making one of my favorite dinners especially after a cold winter hike and it is taco soup so I have beef in here, onions, and I just added some garlic. It smells amazing. Now I'm gonna add in a bunch of taco seasoning. Fire roasted diced tomatoes. Diced tomatoes with green chilies. So normally I wouldn't actually put as much diced tomatoes in here. They didn't have crushed tomatoes at the grocery store, so uh, I'm just going with that for tonight. Beans. Corn, let's mix this up. Broth, and I'm just gonna let this cook. I let this cook for about an hour, looks good. I'm, like I said earlier, normally I'd like to do a can of crushed tomatoes and then one can of diced, but they didn't have that. Still gonna be really good, I think. cheese on there. My favorite part. Cilantro. Forgot to show you my knitting project yesterday, but this is the progress I've made. It's actually the back. This is the front. And I really like the way that this is looking so far, but as you can see, I've really changed the colors. So these were the four that I was originally planning, but when I started knitting with these, there's just not enough contrast here and the pattern didn't really look the way that I had envisioned it. My dad suggested that I bring in this ash color and I really like the way that looks. So this is from my stash. So I had to order more of this and this is as far as I could knit until I get the new yarn, but I really like the way that this looks. So I'm not gonna use this color, and I just have these three with this ash color, and I really like it so far. I also reworked the pattern. I went back to it and I just kind of changed a few things, and I think it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna look like this. I'm so excited about this. I hope I can finish it in time for it to still be a little bit cold out and get some use out of this sweater because this one's pretty warm, this yarn. It's, it's really fun making it my own pattern. I don't quite know what it's going to end up looking like because it just looks different on the computer. So it's been really fun to knit, but it's also probably a good thing that I ran out of this ash color because once I start knitting, it's hard for me to stop. I just, it's just, I enjoy it so much. And I have a lot of work to do today. So 
that's going to be mostly my day. The weather isn't too great outside. So I'm going to just try to get a ton of computer work done and then go for a good walk this afternoon, probably. So that is the update on the sweater. What do you think? I'm pretty excited about it. I love all these colors and uh, I'll keep you updated. <laughs>